Welcome back guys to another video of AETW and today we are going to be doing a seasonal review for the two year eternity season two. Now first of all I'll be waiting for two eternity to actually come out. Like I'll really psyched for the season two to come out. I feel like I feel like the anime is a really good anime in general. Like I don't I don't think I don't think people realize how good the anime is. So it's like you think about it and then the season one first of all, like the season one was also emotional and also satisfying in a way. Oh you can't even call it satisfying in a way because we just saw him make memories and then not old like not only make memories. I don't know, I don't even know. So it essentially really puts me like I feel like it it's it should be classified as a psychological or mindful anime but by right now though with everything going on being so mental or thinking about so much going on because in season one we really just saw him yes he did have some hype but we really just saw him lose a lot of um his friends as it was obviously he was gaining um, information and learning about stuff, but we really just saw him lose a lot of this thing, so a lot of his friends, different stories, and all that. So, in season two, in season two, we really saw him at the end of season two, it was crazy because we really saw him reflect on like the friends he lost or the things that were happening around him in his surroundings. Like, he really became more self aware, he really became more like crazy individual because we like he became more human in this season too and also less human at the same time because he was aware of certain things and he could feel some like a lot of people's pains but bro was because of that fact he was more aware of wanting to save people like he was he was more he was more into the whole trying to save people, not wanting his friends to die again. Like he was really going through it mentally this season. Like Fushi really did suffer mentally and psychologically in season two. Obviously, with the anti Fushi groups, the whole Chris Chris Christ Christian Bennett, I mean Christ Bennett Church, those guys, and then him to his own resolve and everything, like. Fushi was Fushi did go through like a lot of character development in this season too, in, in the sense that he also, bro just became mother nature at some point as well. Like in this season too, Fushi did really give a lot of himself to to saving the people around him. Because, I think close to the end of the season, there was a, there was a, there was a point where he was like he was selling bone that oh he does things for his own personal desires and stuff but i never what fushi ever did something for other people like sorry i mean for himself i feel like because obviously he when he finally got the when he finally found out that he could bring people back to life and stuff he just set them free and to them to live their own lives to fulfill their own lives so I just felt like him, him, he has been living for them and living to defeat the knockers and um, him now wanting them to live their own lives as well was actually such a bold move because if, any, if anybody hasn't lived their life for personal, like for their own personal desires, it's obviously Fushi. So him giving them that right, him giving his friends that right to be like, okay, like live your life because i know how it feels to suffer living for another person so i'll just be happy doing what you love and stuff like that so the other season two obviously was such an amazing such an amazing scene was such an amazing anime in general um i felt like obviously the whole kahaku situation finding out that all oh, this the he him the history the history for she had with his ancestors and everything Kaku was just really obsessed with Fushi in every way possible. And uh, I, 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 the guy just really creeps me out. The guy, like, the, I really don't have any other thing to say to him or to say about him. Like, he was really just, he really just creeped me out. And I think this season we also saw, like, 
more characters like the um, mindset of the psychology, the psychology of more characters this time because obviously like the old characters from season one came back and then obviously like we saw characters like Bond, those characters like Kahaku and obviously the deep rooted history these people had with Fushi. Bond obviously saying no, already knowing about Fushi through Tonari and other and other kind of things. Like even Fushi meets in other immortals as well. So this this season I feel like more characters we did see more characters like in depth. So to your eternity in general since for the season two I'll give it like a seven, seven point five out of ten. Because I just felt like Fushi Fushi just really put it all into this season, like it wasn't he was it wasn't just learning about different things or just accumulating knowledge or information. He really developed as a character and he really fought for something that is that is obviously the people around him and people who he had before and getting them back now and now that he he is really this type of because obviously like the more he becomes human the more he feels more of, more like aware of himself it's as if the more he is less human as well i love i love how the dynamic with, with, that fushi has is the sense it's the sense that obviously he's a human being but not really a human being so i think it's crazy as well so yeah this season we, we saw fushi suffer both mentally physically in every person in every way possible as well like we just saw him suffer and then we saw most fushi being uh, looked as in a more religious way either as a demon or a god so yeah, a lot of a lot of cool things happened in the season two. So I felt like um to your eternity really should be getting more recognition because I I do think that it's an anime or it's a top tier anime where like we really see just the random ass orb become something crazy at the end of the day. And the fact that obviously he doesn't because I feel like Fushi doesn't need to be this way. Fushi doesn't need to be somebody who has to help out others, that kind of thing. He just naturally became that kind of person. So yeah. Yeah. To your tendency is obviously a class as anime and uh and uh, season two was amazing. I can't lie. So many ups and downs and then so many more in depth stories and so many more in depth characters. So yeah, I hope, I hope you guys also enjoy season two, and um, I can't I can't wait to see where they go with it for like season three as well. So yeah, it's been your boy. Catch you guys later. Like and subscribe. All the other weird stuff. See you next time.